Hey guys, Daniel Master 87 here. And tisk tisk tisk, what am I having to talk about today? It is the fact that survivors literally want adrenaline vial to be nerfed. You know that freaking blight add-on that never saw play until its recent buff. I put it on the same level of power as. Uh, the placebo tablet, which gives you more blood points, but your rushes are 50% speed. Um, so they recently buffed it. The turn right penalty isn't as harsh as it was before, so now it's playable, especially if you combine it with the umber assaults, so that you have maximum uh, turning, and even then you can still feel the turn penalty from the add-on. Oh, but yeah, for the longest time it was a useless add-on, now it's playable, and so people want it nerfed. And it kind of sucks that whenever something on the killer side uh, gets buffed after being useless for so long, people usually want it nerfed, uh, which is what's probably going to happen to Dead Man Switch too. And I don't know where all these people who want this add-on... Uh, nerfed are coming from because nothing really changed about this add-on besides the turn rate penalty. It had all these upsides before. It gave you the seven total tokens, uh, decreased rush token, recharge rate, rush speed, loop angle, all that stuff. The only thing that's changed is that the turn rate doesn't completely screw you like it used to. Because literally before you would just go in straight lines with this add-on and not be able to turn at all. Now you can actually turn a little bit. So I ask where was all this outrage before because literally one thing about this add-on changed and now all of a sudden it's OP and broken and needs to be removed from the game. The turn right does in fact hurt your rushes. People are saying, oh, you can still do these crazy flicks, you can still uh, play Blight normally. No, you can't, because his turn right is reduced <laughs> by 55%, which is not an ins insignificant amount, I'm telling you, because you play Blight without this add-on, and then you play him with this add-on, you will feel the difference in your turning. And people are complaining that the way they're phrasing it is Blight got buffed, Blight got another strong add-on. And no, it's not really a buff to Blight. Like nothing in his base kit changed, it's just this one add-on that was useless before that's now playable, which got buffed. And uh... I guess greens, purples, and pinks aren't supposed to be strong or decent add-ons. They all need to have drawbacks or else the killer's way too powerful, people have constantly said. And here's the thing that kind of baffles me. Wouldn't a new actually usable add-on create more add-on variety, which is what we've all been asking for? Is that not what we all want? I mean, all people say when they want Blight nerfed is, oh my gosh, every Blight just runs Blighted Crow and Alchemist Ring. Yeah, well, tell you what, if I told you that there was going to be another add-on that Blight would be using instead of those add-ons, wouldn't you be happy that you wouldn't be seeing those same two add-ons all the freaking time? The sane answer would be yes, but these people are mental gymnasticsing so freaking hard that they're somehow viewing add-on variety as a bad thing now. Because they're just like, oh, it's another strong add-on. They almost make it seem like you can run this add-on in combination with the other strong add-ons. Like you have three add-on slots or something all of a sudden. No, you'll be swapping Adrenaline Vial in for one of those stronger ones. So now the 
the ones that people were complaining about before, you're only going to be going against one of them instead of both of them at the same time if the killer is deciding he wants to run adrenaline vial. I don't know what's hard about that to understand. And I can't see adrenaline vial being on the same level of power as, say, alchemist rings or compound 33. I just don't see it. Like, you have seven rush tokens, so what? When are you ever going to use all seven rush tokens? You could see in my matches I've played with this add-on, you, you get to, like, five rush tokens or whatever, sometimes six, but almost never seven unless you're trying or the survivors are just hiding, so they're allowing you to use all your rushes to look around the map until you find somebody. Otherwise, you're almost never going to get use out of all seven of those tokens, so what's the big deal? Uh, and the sad thing is people are comparing this add-on's power level to Alchemist's Ring. They're comparing... They're comparing it to Alchemist's Ring, and they're comparing it to Blighted Crow, and they're comparing it to Compound 33. So tell me, how does having two more rush tokens and these other kind of down or upsides uh, compared to like hindering you and instantly breaking a pallet how does it compare to refreshing all of your rush, rush tokens whenever you hit someone with a rush how does it compare to going faster for each consecutive bump it doesn't compare because it's its own thing but people were saying that its effect is that significant that it's on the same level of power as this, this, and this. And that's just not true from experience, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, people, the one they compare it to the most is Alchemist's Ring. Like, oh, you refresh your token so fast you might as well be using Alchemist Ring. Or if you use it in combination with Alchemist Ring, then you get seven rush tokens back all at once. And no, this thing is not on the same level of power as Alchemist's Ring. Because it's giving you two more rushes, it's not refreshing all of your rushes. Until you have all seven of those rush tokens back, you can't rush again. So if you're running this thing without Alchemist's Ring, you're still going to have to wait before you can use it again. But I just don't know what else to say at this point. A killer gets a buff, people instantly cry for it to get nerfed. And this add-on, crazily enough, probably will get nerfed because people keep complaining about it. It's a freaking green add-on, and it does have a downside, so isn't that the model add-on that you want? Can nothing on the killer side be strong without having, like, massive downsides to the point to where the freaking downside outweighs the upside? which is the entire reason you're putting the add-on on. It's just exhausting this whole argument. So for right now, this is Daniel Master 87 signing out.